Y'all, I don't know what y'all done did to the water spirits, but y'all need to trip lightly around them right now. I've seen other people come on this app saying, be careful around the water spirits right now, right? Um, I had a dream the other day that there was a hurricane and a tornado off the Detroit River, which is completely unlikely. So, I don't know when, I don't know how long, but there is some strange behavior going on in the water, and I wanted to give y'all a heads up. Okay, y'all, so there has been a lot of situations going on with the water, and y'all know the last video where I said water spirits getting they get back. I got a channeled message a couple of hours ago. They're asking me to tell what's going on with the water, and I'm just like, okay, I mean, what do you, what do you want me to tell? Like, we know they're already trying to dump radioactive waste in the ocean around in Japan, and China been doing the same thing, so. Yep, Japan's radioactive water dumping is affecting the Pacific. Ocean and we're all drinking from it. People were terrified after it was announced Japan will be releasing their treated radioactive water into the ocean and it will spread everywhere. China has even depicted what they believe will happen if we keep eating from them, saying there will be bizarre mutations and several new types of cancer. I hope y'all remember the bomb that they had set off in the water. They dropped a bomb in the ocean and they told people that the Navy was testing it. Navy sets off 40,000 pound bomb to test ship. Lies. There was an attack that they sent against the aquatic families, the mermaids and the mermaids and the sirens because they had already had word that the, that the portal had opened to bring the mermen and the mermaids and the sirens back in. This is why you've been seeing a lot of people see the mermaids and sirens lately. But they was trying to stop this though a few months ago and they dropped the bomb and they, they killed they killed them like you can't kill mermaids and sirens because they're part of the spiritual family but you can destroy their bodies and they have to just come back which they did but they destroyed a few of them when they did this enough of them you know what i'm saying and that's what really kicked the war off and they didn't tell they didn't tell people this now mind you we already there's already been a war going on they already been playing with the sky since last year because they know all this was coming up we are in the end game and it's over with america will never win another war None of that is over with for the entire system. So this is what they trying to hide, right? So this is how they responded when they tried to burn the portal and leave the planet and they couldn't. This is what they responded with. They bombed the mermen and the mermaids and the sirens. Y'all seen that? Alright, y'all seen that blue streak, right? Alright, and they and they made it tonight, they dropped the bomb. This was an underwater explosion that they did. They set off some of their little technology. That the, you know the reptilians got technology too. Alright, so that was a little technology they set off though. Ain't nothing hit the water, but they tried to they try to they try to get people to believe that. Alright, and they said they were just testing. They said we just testing the bomb. You see the blue? The sonic boom effect? Look at that. Alright? Y'all see that? Yeah. Y'all see that? Alright? So the elites, they didn't wasn't testing no bomb at all. They set out frequency detonators that would destroy a certain species they was looking to destroy. That's why you see this blue ray around it. Yeah. Like this sonic boom blue ray. Y'all see it? See it? And they know that, that the public, once again, if you don't know about the four phases of matter, okay, and by the law of vibration, you have no understanding about these other beings that are here right now in this war, okay? Let me actually show you an example of what happens when they do stuff like that. They're even playing frequencies down there that's harmful to the beings and our family that's down there.
our family that's down there, the mermaids, the sirens, they know how to do these sonic canyons, which is affecting their ears, which is affecting their body, which is actually, you know, killing them almost, which is what Rashad Jamal just said. We're just getting into a little bit of the reason why these water spirits, the mermaids, all of the aquatic family that's down there is getting angry. They're already mad. There is a very interesting theory going around that says that our oceans are starting to become contaminated. Now the first clue to this entire theory started back in June of 2021 when the U.S. released a 40,000 pound bomb in the middle of the ocean. Around the same time there was a string of multiple ocean fires all the way up until January of this year when we had the Tonga volcanic eruption which led to a strange theory that some of these events weren't natural or just innocent training but that they were actively chasing and trying to take out some sort of creature in the ocean. Now this plot is thickening because people are starting to theorize that there were prehistoric creatures living in the hidden lakes and rivers of Antarctica but were separated from our oceans because of the ice. But now that that ice is melting, these creatures are leaking into our oceans and changing the ecosystem altogether. With strange events like 200 whales washing up on a beach in Australia like they were running from something, and billions of snow crabs disappearing from the waters around Alaska like they were being eaten, Maybe this theory's on to something. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? Do y'all see they're already attacking the aquatic family down there? There's already been history of our ancestors in my community have been victims. Did y'all know there's a lake where they used to... Matter of fact, it's just called Water Babies. I found the weirdest legend ever. In Idaho, there's a park called Massacre Rock State Park. It's a major part of the Oregon Trail, and it's absolutely beautiful there. But there's a pretty sinister legend attached to it. So as you can see here, there's a river that runs through the park. This is said to be the main source of the paranormal activity there. So the legend goes that the river is haunted by supernatural beings called water babies, which are the spirits of some drowned babies. There are a few different versions of this legend, but they're all pretty much the same. It's believed that a group of Native Americans that first inhabited this area went through a period where they had no food. So the women were forced to take their babies down to the river and drown them because they just couldn't stand to see their babies starve. And it said that after the babies drowned, they grew fins and gills and began to feed on the fish in the lake to survive. To this day, there are actually reports of people claiming to have seen the water babies playing in the river and in the canals. And it said that they will even cry out to you to try to lure you to your death. I didn't even know that story. I didn't know there was a, a specific lake where they would go to do this type of stuff. Y'all watch this. This will really done it. In February 2018, in Vietnam, a group of young people went fishing in Ma Trang Lagoon at night. After a while removing the fish caught in the net, they discovered that there was a silver ring stuck to the net. The young man was observing the bracelet when a hand reached out and pulled him under the water. Some people thought it was just a fake video. But after taking a closer look at the video they discovered it was indeed a raised hand with a black face and bright eyes hidden under the water. This hand performs the action very quickly, only when slowing down the video can be clearly seen. This young man was later successfully rescued by others after he had drunk a full stomach of water. I don't know about y'all, but it's time to go after that. And I don't, I just, I, I don't, I don't know why y'all in the water at nighttime. Anyways, let's get to the next video. I want you guys to check out this video and tell me I'm tripping. Tell me I'm tripping. Y'all see here we have a Russian soldiers here. And this guy's now being pulled into the water by a water spirit, what we call AKA the Merman. I'm going to give you full disclosure on what the hell is going on. Uh, the other guy seen it, he was scared to death. Once he seen he was being pulled in and he seen the other merman around, he didn't want to become a victim. Now this merman is a water spirit, so it can also shapeshift, just like a reptilian. They have the same exact DNA. <clears throat> and a lot of people don't know this, but I'm going to go and bust it down for you because <laughs> so many people came across this video and don't even know what they're looking at. So you had a guy thrown back in there, boom. Body thrown back in and he goes, spirit walks out. They sent at you. Now, if y'all haven't learned anything about Lake Lanier, let's just learn about it right now. This is a little bit of what happened with Lake Lanier. 12, two black teenagers were accused of rape. They were tried, convicted, and sentenced to death in a single day. And after they were executed, a mob of white men terrorized, drove out, or killed all the black people in the surrounding area. And they did that until the entire black community of Oscarville 
disappeared. The county went from having over 1,000 black residents in 1912 to zero in 1920. That story is so sad it makes this story look like a comedy. After the black community had been run off, the white people of Forsyth County said, you know what we can use? A big old lake. So they made one, right where the town of Oscarville had just been. They flooded the area and literally covered up the entire town with water. But the town is still under there. The homes and churches and schools, they're still down there. And now people go boating on top of them. She goes on to mention countless and countless of other stories of black towns being terrorized, pushed out of their communities. I do know that Black Wall Street where they burnt and just killed everybody around there. And y'all know whose ancestors I'm talking about. That wasn't the only town. This was happening all over the map. Let's mention Central Park, which was called Seneca Village, were ordered to leave their houses. The entire village was disappeared because it was so terrible to upgrade and improve Afro people. Most of our cities and our towns are underwater and covered up by parks. Oh, let's just look at Lake Martin, built on the previous majority black-owned town and is now underwater. It's literally just too much. Get out of slavery. Was promised reparations and didn't get them. Was given no opportunity for education, financial literacy, land, money, anything. All while trying to build some sort of protection for us. They're building multiple prisons at this time and these care and the government is falsely accusing them so they go in there and rebuild america all of that energy is just not going it's just just going into thin air poof this is why these lake and these water spirits are haunting these areas because of what they have been through. 5,000 people came to watch their wrongful execution. The next few months were awful. The white mobs would come in, threaten them, harass them, burn things down, shoot bullets through their houses, kill their livestock. Anything happened, guess where everyone would go? To the church. Well, they attacked the church. People were hung. Uh, lynched. Rucker says many relatives died as they tried to flee. So when they got to the Santa Hoochie River, from what I understand, they were told when the mom got up on the bridge, they were told that they either had to swim or drown. Most of them didn't make it. What my mother told me, buried all of them. He would sit and tell her this story, and uh, he would just sit and cry. Crosby says whites in the area took over the remaining properties. You have a farm already going and you had free land, so you just take it. A lot of this land had been passed down from generations and all of a sudden they just have to leave everything behind. Most of the people in the town left to protect their families. A lot of people were unalive during this and they were forced out of their home. Flash forward 40 years and the government has gained the rights to 56,000 acres of land, including several small towns that included Oscarville. When they started building the lake, a lot of the town was still left intact. There's roads, concrete, houses, 70 foot tall timber. It is full of debris of the haunting memory that will always remain there. A lot of things were also flooded, including cemeteries. Unmarked graves were inadvertently left behind. Not only that, but the town was not entirely demolished before the lake was filled. So that means that the ruins still rest at the bottom of the lake. So does that mean when you're swimming in Lake Lanier that you're possibly swimming above a cemetery or with possibly bodies floating around? Um, yes. Scuba divers even witnessed and reported finding streets, walls, and even homes underwater. Since the lake was created, hundreds of people have drowned. There were also reports of boats going up in flames, strange accidents, missing persons, and other tragedies. People say that the town's dark history has a lot to do with these sinister incidents. The folklore explains that the spirits of the graves that were flooded and the people that were persecuted in the town were seeking vengeance. You already know why they were seeking vengeance. You know. You know why. Some of the white community are very distraught and upset on why they cannot swim in that lake. They really want to swim in it. They want to swim in a lake full of our deceased ancestors. Watch this. Get in the water. Here's video from News Chopper 2 over Margaritaville at Lanier Lakes, where the beach is open, but no one's swimming in it. Management told Channel 2's Brian Mims it's for safety. For Wendy Brown, this is the ultimate lake life. Sliding her paddleboard onto Lanier's clear water, gliding beneath a blue sky. Out here, there is no fencing her in. To put a fence up at a beach, this just makes no sense. It's ridiculous, if you ask me. <laughs>
but there is a fence in the water all along the beach at Margaritaville on Lake Lanier. I mean, it's not a beach. It's just sand. The management of the water park says you can sit on the sand and soak up the sun all you want. Just don't get in the water. In a statement, it says the safety of guests is prioritized above all else. After careful consideration, we have decided to no longer offer swimming in the lake area. While we understand that this may be disappointing for some, we believe it is the right decision to maintain a safe environment for all our guests to enjoy and will allow us to put added focus on other parts of the park to offer a better overall experience for all our water park guests. Kim Densmore wonders if no lake swimming might hurt business. I don't think that's right. I really don't understand that. Park management would not explain what specifically they were worried about with lake swimming, but they do say this that lake access is available in a controlled environment at the Aquatic Adventure attraction and management says there are kayak and paddleboard rentals available. And they don't want to reveal the reason why they wanted to close the lake off. Okay, okay. What about this? Lake Lanier has claimed another life. Georgia man dies, jumps in, gets electrocuted. This is not the first time this has happened in Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier is known for electric currents getting into the water. People have been warned about this. Now this man had no idea that this would happen, but it does happen. But we all know we need to stay away from Lake Lanier. Y'all, Lake Lanier, how many times I have to say it? Lake Lanier is so dangerous that your car will start shaking right up when you get to the exit coming from Atlanta to take to go to Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier is angry. They're angry, okay? This is a crossroads. This is a supernatural location where spirits communicate. They're angry. They taking anybody they want on any given day. It don't matter. She said cars be shaking as soon as you pull up to the lake. Let's watch another one. Three more people drowned at Lake Lanier this past weekend. One of them was electrocuted. And I don't know how many times y'all need to see poltergeists to understand why swimming in haunted lakes is a bad idea. But take this as a warning. A 24-year-old jumped off of a dock into the lake and was immediately electrocuted. Because apparently, electric shock drowning is a silent killer. Who knew? This can occur when electrical currents leak into the water, causing a swimmer to become incapacitated. In the same weekend, a 27-year-old man vanished on the lake, never resurfaced. They eventually found his body. Also, 61-year-old Tracy Stewart went into the lake and never resurfaced. They found her body as well, under 46 feet of water with the help of sonar technology. Now, crews confirm that those three incidences of drowning are not related. However, I say that they are because if you go swimming in that lake, you are swimming on bad vibes and cemeteries and indigenous cultures that have been appropriated and colonized by us. Yaya is always coming with the story times also, so watch this. Imagine the anger that's enraged by these spirits when they just didn't damage it. They just decided to flood it out. So with this flooded lake with all of this debris, which is a town, when someone does drown or go missing, they kind of find it a little too dangerous for divers to go in trying to find them because of how deep and dangerous the lake is. So a lot of times they're just like, we'll see if they float to the top. We'll see if they come a little bit higher, but it's more dangerous for us to go down there than for us just to sit and wait to see if they float up. But a lot of times the bodies don't float up because they're caught by trees. They literally may get stuck in a house that's underneath them. And some divers who are brave enough to get even close to the floor of this lake say they have found limbs of dead people and this story is called the lady of the lake in april 1958 delia may parker young was reportedly traveling with Susie Roberts to the Three Gables, a local roadhouse in Donsville, Georgia. Susie was driving her 1954 Ford across the Lanier Bridge when, for some unknown reason, she lost control of the car, crashing off the right side of the bridge. Divers entered the lake and searched the area, but neither the vehicle nor any remains were discovered. The physical evidence of the occurrence was scant marks suggesting that the woman's car went into the lake. Then a year later, in 1959, a fisherman discovered human remains that had floated to the surface of the lake. 
Further examination yield no obvious cause of death and the individual could not be positively identified, although the body was noted for missing both hands and several toes. Many assumed these were the remains of Delia or Susie, but at the time it was impossible to know for sure. And it was only found because in November 1990 they drained the lake a little bit because they were preparing to do pillars for the bridge and unexpectedly the shell of a rusted out car was discovered with human remains still inside behind the wheel. This lady was still behind the wheel. Searching through the personal belongings in the car, a purse, ring, and a watch, Susie Roberts was able to be identified. And in light of this discovery, it was concluded that the young woman found decades before was in fact Delilah Mae Parker Young. For three decades, Susie Roberts was trapped in her car, hidden under 90 plus feet of water. Stuck within tree trunks, mud, and other debris that made up the bed of Lake Lanier, but now she could be properly laid to rest. It is this tragedy that has been the foundation of the most persistent legends associated with Lake Lanier. The soul of a young woman in a blue dress that has been reportedly seen time and time again, walking up and down the length of Lanier Bridge. And according to those who have seen this spirit, who has become known as Lady of Lake Lanier, she is missing her hands. So the what? soul of this individual... Why is everybody missing their hands and, and toes and stuff? ...has been spotted several times by different individuals and they all describe her as wearing a blue dress and missing her hands. Bro, 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 what? 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 <sighs> okay, so I need to get into my download that I want to share with y'all, but I want y'all to watch this video first to correlate off what I'm about to tell you. The reason why a lot of people think that the ocean is like space is because you can actually move through dimensions in the ocean. And what I mean by that is, yes, you can move backward and forward, but you can also move up and down, and you do hit different realities. Think about it. You know, the deeper you go in the ocean, the freakier it gets, and it's because certain animals can only be with um, certain water pressure, and certain ones are bred to be in deeper water pressure. So you actually move through different realities with different animals, different things, as you can also go this way, this way and all the other ways so you actually are moving through dimensions Thought. that's this is what i'm trying to tell y'all and let y'all know okay so as far as my download that i received i am being told that they are trying to attack the gatekeepers that is in the ocean our aquatic family that is in the ocean they are attacking the gatekeepers and what do I mean when I say gatekeepers? The aquatic family that's down there that protects the portals, the, the Bermuda Triangle, all of the different places where these black holes are. These are our aquatic families that are set to watch over that area. So they're not just attacking the physical stargates that's on Earth, which I was talking about in the last video where Palestine and Israel is having beef at, and even in Hawaii. The stargates that's all around this planet, they are trying their best to attack. And some of them, some of these countries are working together to try to stop this. To try to take out the aquatic beings that's down there that are supposed to, that are assigned to take care of the stargate. And greet the people that are, greet the beings and their family that's coming through there underwater. They're not just messing with the portals on Earth, they're messing with the portals underwater. These submarines that they have... All of these, in, they keep making it seem like, oh, they have submarines to make sure that the other countries don't try to come underwater to, you know, invade and do all that type of stuff. When really, most of them are working together. The reason why they actually have the submarines down there is to observe these beings. They know this. They know that they're down there. They've been bombing the ocean. They've been putting a lot of harm and trying to mess with our family. So I would really like for y'all to send some thoughts, send a prayer out to the ocean and our aquatic family that's down there because they are fighting a lot. And with the fact that we don't even know about it, it is just crazy. So yeah, just send a beautiful, good prayer to the aquatic beings down there who are actually fighting to protect the sacred portals that we have on this beautiful planet and with that i want to let y'all know to have a great beautiful rest of y'all day y'all stay dangerous <laughs>